my big thing on this show, as you know, and the album I've got in my little hands, Demi. Uh, Cher Lloyd's on here as well. Yes, yes. You did a track with her. Yes. It's amazing how huge she is in the US now. Yeah, she's great. She's so she's so funny. She's so sweet. And I, I love the... Um, oh, hey. Good, we're back. <laughs> um, yeah, she's great. Yeah. I, I was excited to have her on the album. What's your favorite track on the album? My favorite song on the album, I think it's Nightingale. Okay. Um, it means a lot to me. I also I also really like um, the one that Cher and I did together. Really don't care? Yeah. Okay. Well, have a listen to that. Cool. Um, you could doing Britain's Got Talent tomorrow night? Yes. We just watched the Jennifer Lopez performance together. Yes, we did. It's all going on there, isn't it, Demi? It is all going on. Yeah. And, it's, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about the outfit. Yeah. It's no, just... the outfit is incredible. She looks incredible. Yeah. She sold her part. Uh, I mean, Sorry? no, I mean, it was, it was, she great... definitely sold her part. Yes, she did. Yes, she um, did. She worked that. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, X Factor auditions in the US started last week. You're yes. very much a part of that, obviously. You're on the judging panel again with Simon and with Kelly Rowland this time. Yes. She's nice. She's great. She's she did so a really, sweet. she did a really good job here. Um, was it a year or two years ago when she was on the UK one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Um, I, I didn't get to see her on this the one in the uk she was but, good um yeah she was great and if she's anything like she is on the one in the u.s then i'm sure she was amazing because yeah. she's doing a great job and who's the other girl on the panel because we don't really know her here paulina rubio okay and what sh where's she from she's from latin america so she's like an icon down there she's huge down there and she's um a lot of people in the united states know who she is as well okay um but she's is a she latin an artist singer. yeah she's a musician she's a latin singer and i mean she's literally huge in south america okay and so she joins the panel with you lot as well yeah um why are you not sitting next to simon this year i saw a picture and you normally sit next to each other um he smells. I know. So I'm just like, I don't really want to sit next to you. Does he not smell really rich? He sm He does like, smell a bit rich, but also of mint and slightly of cigarettes. Like, <laughs> he smells like money, cigarettes. And mint. And mint. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly that. And that's not, not, my, not a nice not, mix. You don't like that. It's not my favorite. <laughs> did, you, <laughs> did you demand to be moved? I can't, <laughs> I, I can't deal with this smell anymore. Oh. No, we, we just changed it up because we thought, you know, it, it would need something different. We have two new cast members on the show so yeah um I, I like it it kind of balances everything up that must take up pretty much half of your year that show does it it is definitely right because yeah. i mean obviously the, they the uk ones they go to glasgow and they go mm. to birmingham and and wales but america fact fans is big yes. so you get you just you <laughs> just like, get, what are we waiting for yeah <laughs> you go you have to go everywhere to do the auditions yeah we do we, we're going to new orleans next so i'm excited wow. about that uh, does it annoy you when Simon's always late for auditions? Because I know he is. It is annoying. I get there somewhat on time. <laughs> what excuses does he use when he finally gets to the desk? What does he say? Hello, darling. Um, Hello, it was, darling. It was, he don't, no, he will it. say that. It's like he doesn't like make an excuse for it. Oh, so it's just, hello, darling. Yeah. Hello, like, darling. And you're waiting for the excuse which never comes. Yeah. So, do you ever tell him off? Yes. yes what do you mean? That's why like, I'm on the panel yeah. with him. It's they are brilliant strictly together. Strictly to oh, really? tell him yeah. off. <laughs> yeah. She tells him off a lot. She just oh, doesn't cool. take anything from him at all. Yeah. And will you miss Brittany? Because it's going to be a bit weird with her not being there. I will. I will. I mean, we had such a great time last year. And um, same with LA. We had a really great time. And um, But I am excited to start working um, this year with Paulina and Kelly. Mm. Do you, I mean, will you see Brittany now that she isn't on the show anymore, do you think? I mean, I don't know. That's something that I, I I wish that I could see her. Of course, she was a really, really sweet girl. But um, I'm literally so busy. I yeah. don't even. I barely have time to see my family. Yeah. What I want to know is when you're all sat there at the desk waiting for the next audition, what do you talk about? I always <laughs> wonder that. I mean, what do you say when Britney Spears is next to you and there's nothing else happening? She's like, "Hi. So, how's your mansion? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. How are the kids? Yeah, good. Yeah, good. And uh, um, what do you say? I don't really know. A lot of times, like, we would just have small talk. I mean, it was, you know, what do you say when you're sitting next to somebody? That... Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not normally sat next to multimillionaire pop stars. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if she's a pop star or not. She's human, mm. and we just have conversations. Okay, imagine he's Britney Spears, and you're sat next to each other on the X Factor panel. Go this on, is an interesting so, one. Okay. I, I mean, can't do an American accent. No, just my... try, try. Hi. Hi, Demi. Hi. Hey, hey Demi. <laughs> Hi. Hey, y'all. What you doing? 
How was I your mean, mansion? it was less awkward than that. Right, good. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> yes, it was a lot less awkward than that. Yeah. Um, that what, was painful. Yeah. What category would you like to have this year? I would like to have the girls. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it feels like a natural fit mm. for me. Um, I don't really know how I would be um, the best mentor for somebody that's over 25, because I'm not 25 even so mm. um but we'll see i've never mentored a group or guys so it, i'm gonna do whatever is thrown at me and i'm gonna you know have fun with it i think i would do best with girls i was obsessed with the show last year when it was like when they had to come to your house was that actually your house of course it was oh okay because sometimes i'll let you into a little secret on the uk one <laughs> it's not their house really it's that's like, so I, weird. I don't think it is it's like we went to Talisa's house in Greece. It's like, really? I didn't even know she had a house. But the ones in America, they look like they were your house. I was obsessed with it because we got to see all the, all, like, all the good stuff in your house. We're now going to Demi's house in, in downtown LA. Yep. And then you just sat there on your massive sofa talking to them. Yep. It's really good. It's a really cool place. It's a really cool place. <laughs> Does so I enjoyed that. It, does like it, does the American one with the, with like the final ten contestants? Do you have any proper like wacky one? Like we once had this guy in on our one called Wagner. Yeah, um, a who's... kind of novelty act, which I don't think you have so much of in America. But they love a novelty in Britain. Yeah, like a proper mad like. Yeah, and uh, they made Jedward? it all the way to the final. Yeah, that's 10. what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I c I don't think I could like put up with that. No. <laughs> yeah. Do you know Jedward? Uh, yes. Yeah, yes, they yes, they yes. were. I think they were top five. That's you, cool. You don't but really they, get but that in America. They're not like a novel. They're not really like. I thought you meant like a like a joke. No, some of them are. Wagner was a joke. I do look back and wonder how Wagner got there. I do, but, but that I wouldn't have happened. I think if Demi had been involved in the judging panel. No, I don't think she would have been like get lost. <laughs> well, it's not fair to them. I have to see Wagner first. Oh, <laughs> you don't want to say <laughs> that. <laughs> <You don't. laughs> okay. I, I think the talent in America is really strong. And actually, in the final ten, they can normally all sing, mm. which is a revelation. <laughs> I know. Um, I saw on Twitter recently, on your Twitter, that you were stuck in traffic. I'm obsessed with this, right? And it was traffic caused by your own concert. No, I had retweeted oh. Taylor Swift. Oh, that Taylor was Taylor Swift had tweeted that, and I thought it was hilarious, so I retweeted it. Oh, that must be But weird. there has been mm. a time, there has been times where that's happened. There was a time where, um, one time I took... Um, th there was a concert in San Diego. I, I was playing with the Jonas Brothers, and um, we literally got off stage and went straight to the jet. And so when we were taking off, we could see the traffic below us from <laughs> the venue that we right. just played. So we, as people are leaving the venue, like stuck in traffic, we were already flying out of the city. No, we're that's, like, hey, that's look, cool. that's where that's we just played. That is you, cool. You don't want to be stuck in a traffic jam caused by yourself. As you're flying over in your just jet. Just fly. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. Do you use private jets a lot? Um, it just depends on what it's for. It's like, I'm good with, with regular flying. I don't really need a private jet everywhere mm. I go, but I'm sure if I had just like copious amounts of money to just waste, then I'm sure I would take one Simon everywhere Cal. I went. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I am uh, not Simon Cowell. Uh, yeah. So. I want to know what they're like on the inside. Are they like limos where you get like drinks and stuff? I've never, I don't really know what a private jet there's, consists of. There's been a few that are, are pretty awesome. There was one private jet that I went on and it was dope. Like it was amazing. I was flying to London from LA and the outside, the exterior was completely black. <gasps> So it was just, it was like a black private jet and the inside it had like 24 karat gold um, china that Get free you drink your tea out of, huh? I think you've got free more nibbles. than free nibbles. Free nipples? Ni <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Nibble. What? I mean, uh, snacks. Oh, okay. Nibbles, okay, okay. not nipples. Um, Pack of Pringles. Yeah, Mind well, you, yeah, for that yeah. money that it costs, I would want free nipples. <laughs> Do you get free nipples on your private jet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure some people do. Yeah, sure you I, can. I unfortunately did not. I didn't get any. Um, but I did get some free nipples. Um, so. <laughs> That's my highlight of the interview. Wow. Um, <laughs> free nipples, yep. Hey, listen, um, thank you so much for coming in to see us. I have been excited and it hasn't disappointed, has it? Thank you very much, Demi Lovato. Thank you. Good luck with the album thank and everything you. else that's going on. And good luck with Britain's Got Talent tomorrow night. Thank you. Thanks for having Don't me. Don't do a J-Lo. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> I wish I could. She looked amazing. Thank you, Demi. Okay, let's play some more live music from Radio 1's Big Weekend. Oh, it's one of your favourites. You love Paramore.
Yes, I yeah, do. They were at a gig like two days ago. So yes. two tracks from Paramore. We're going to play now and still into you. Thanks, BBC Debbie. BBC Radio 1's Big Weekend 2013.